Launcher One is a two-stage orbital launch vehicle under development by Virgin Orbit since 2007. It is an air launch to orbit rocket designed to launch small ZAT payloads of 300 kg (660 pounds) into sun synchronous orbit following air launch from a carrier aircraft at high altitude. Launches are projected to begin in early 2019. The original Launcher One concept, 2007 to 2015, for a smaller launch vehicle, 200 kilograms (440 pounds) to low Earth orbit, was shelved in 2015 and replaced by a larger rocket design capable of putting a 300 kilograms (660 pounds) Minisat payload in a 500 kilometers (310 miles) sun synchronous orbit, suitable for CubeSats and small payloads, with an expected cost less than $12 million. History Virgin Galactic began working on the Launcher One concept in 2007, and the technical specifications were first described in some detail in late 2009. The Launcher One configuration was proposed to be an expendable, two-stage, liquid-fueled rocket air launched from a White Knight two-carrier aircraft. This would make it a similar configuration to that used by Orbital Sciences Pegasus, or a smaller version of the Stratolaunch air launched rocket system. In October 2012, Virgin announced that Launcher One would be designed so that it could place 200 kg in sun synchronous orbit. Virgin planned at the time to market the 200 kg payload delivery to Sun Synchronous Orbit for under $10 million per mission. While the maximum payload for LEO missions would be somewhat larger at 230 kg, 500 pounds, by 2012, several commercial customers had signed early contracts for launches signaling demand-side support for new small commercial-oriented launch vehicles. These included Geo-Optics, Skybox Imaging, Spaceflight Services, and Planetary Resources. Both Surrey Satellite Technology and Sierra Nevada Space Systems were at the time reported to be developing satellite buses, optimized to the design of Launcher One. In 2015, Virgin Galactic established a 150,000 square foot, 14,000 square meters, 1.4 hectares research, development and manufacturing center for Launcher One at the Long Beach Airport. The company reported in March 2015 that they were on schedule to begin test flights of Launcher One with its Newton 3 engine by the end of 2016, but they did not achieve that objective. On 25 June 2015, the company signed a contract with OneWeb Limited for 39 satellite launches for its satellite constellation with an option for an additional 100 launches. News reports in September 2015 indicated that the heavier payload of 200 kg was to be achieved by longer fuel tanks and use of the recently qualified Newton 3 engine, but this also meant that the Virgin developed carrier aircraft White Knight 2 would no longer be able to lift the rocket to launch altitude. So in December 2015, Virgin announced a change to the carrier plane for Launcher One to carry the heavier payload. The carrier aircraft subsequently was changed to a used Boeing 747-400, Cosmic Girl, previously operated by Virgin Galactic's sister company, Virgin Atlantic, and purchased outright by Virgin Group from Boeing upon the expiration of that airframe's lease. The 747 will allow a larger launcher one to carry the heavier payloads. The modification work on the company's 747 was expected to be completed in 2016, to be followed by orbital test launches of the rocket in 2017. It was further announced in December that the revised Launcher One would utilize the larger Newton 3 rocket engine on the booster stage, with the Newton 4 powering the second stage. On 2 March 2017, Virgin Galactic announced that its 200 member Launcher One team was being spun off into a new company called Virgin Orbit. Also, a subsidiary company of Virgin Orbit called Vox Space was created to carry out business which require strict security requirements. As of 2017, the company expected to fly approximately twice a month by 2020. In September 2017, the first test flights of Launcher One were delayed to 2018. 
By June 2018, the Virgin Orbit captive carry flight testing campaign for LauncherOne, including a planned drop test of an unfueled rocket, was licensed to begin in July 2018, and could run for up to six months. In the event, no Launcher One test flights occurred in 2018 and were delayed further, to 2019, with only the carrier aircraft beginning to fly in 2018. The first three test flights of Cosmic Girl including the pylon but not the rocket, happened on 23, 25 and 27 August. A high-speed taxi test, with a rocket mounted beneath the aircraft, took place in early November 2018. The aircraft flew its first test flight with both pylon and rocket attached on 18 November 2018. Design Launcher One is a two-stage air-launched vehicle using two Virgin-designed and built Newton RP-1, LOX liquid rocket engines. The rocket has a diameter of 1.6 meters (5 feet 3 in) for the first stage and 1.3 meters (4 feet 3 in) for the second stage and payload fairing. The first stage uses one Newton three engine, while the upper stage uses one Newton four engine. Engines Originally, in 2012, the second stage was to be powered by Newton 1, a 16 kN 3, lbf thrust engine. It was originally intended that the first stage will be powered by a scaled up design of the same basic technology as Newton 1, called Newton 2, with 211 kN lbf of thrust. Both engines had been designed by early 2014, and first articles had been built. Newton 1 was tested up to a full duration burn of 5 minutes. Newton 2 made several short duration firings by early 2014. Ultimately, however, neither Newton 1 nor Newton 2 would be used on Launcher 1. As of 2015, Newton 3 was to be a 260 to 335 kilonewton, 58,000 to 75,000 lbf thrust engine and began hot fire testing by March 2015. June 2015 reports suggested that a Newton 3 would power the first stage of Launcher 1. By December 2015, Virgin had settled on a design where the first stage would utilize the larger Newton 3 engine on the booster stage, while the Newton 4 engine would power the second stage, and this was confirmed in June 2018 as Virgin Orbit readied for the start of the flight test campaign in the second half of 2018. Newton 3 will generate 330 kilonewtons, 74,000 lbf of thrust, while Newton 4 will deliver 22 kilonewtons, 4,900 lbf to the second stage. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Intended usage. Launcher One designed to launch a 300 kg £660 payload to a 500 km (310 miles) sun-synchronous orbit, suitable for CubeSats and small payloads. The cost is less than $12 million. Customers may choose to encapsulate their spacecraft in payload fairings provided by the company, which can be easily attached to the rocket shortly before launch, in several different configurations, such as fitting CubeSats dispensers or multiple satellites in a single fairing. Virgin Orbit will integrate payloads at their headquarters in Long Beach, California. <laughs> launch sites Launcher One will be launched from its Cosmic Girl Boeing 747 carrier, attached to a pylon on the aircraft's left wing, and released over the ocean at a location depending on the desired orbital inclination. This process avoids typical delays for ground launches due to weather and upper level winds. The carrier plane will lift off primarily from the Mojave Air and Space Port in California, but the company also plans to use other airports such as Kennedy Space Center in Florida, Cornwall Airport Nuque in England, and potentially Ellison Onizuka Kona in Hawaii and Roosevelt Roads Naval Station in Puerto Rico. Planned launches 
As of August 2018, Virgin Orbit is preparing for drop tests with a water-filled rocket, to check the release system and the plane handling. The first orbital test flight from Mojave should follow by the second quarter of 2019. Several commercial payloads are already manifested for 2019 and 2020. See also Pegasus rocket Stratolaunch